Hi friends and welcome back to Bloomwell Home and Garden. Today I have a bonus video for you. I was not planning on shooting this video at all, but I was out here and I got started on my project and I said, hey, I bet many of my viewers struggle with the same problem and it would be great to bring them along to show them how I'm going to solve this issue. I have an area where I like to put down mulch that lines our little walkway and the mulch never stays in line and it gets scattered and it ends up looking really bad. I can't put the traditional edging here. Number one, I don't like the look of traditional edging. It sticks up so far out of the ground and kind of looks chintzy to me. Two, you have to dig down to get it in there. Now this area previously had some large stone there. So once you get down about this far, you hit that stone layer and it is really tough to dig through. It is just all stone and so digging really isn't an option. So when I found this product, this product is called Easy Flex. I've never used it before. Like I said, this is my first time finding it. So this is a completely unbiased opinion. I'm not being sponsored by the, the company at all. And this is just me pulling out of the box and using it for my project. So you'll get to see firsthand how easy it is to work with, how well it handles the situation, how easy it is to install. I like that it's going to be totally unscripted and prepared. I'm just here and I'm going to do it. So what I like about this is you do not have to dig down. It lies on the ground like this and you simply put the pins in these holes like this. This is laying on the ground. You're just going to hammer that in like that. It comes with two packages of pins and the pins are uh, six to a package and then in each package is one connector so if you have to cut this and put it down this is a I believe a 40 foot roll and so it will go a long way and it was the best by far in affordability of all the options I had so that was another bonus for picking this up so let's jump in and get started and I'll show you what we have and show you how well this solves our situation here is the area where I'm going to be working on the project. I want to point out this comes off our back porch. This is our walkway and I have it bordered by these rocks to hold the stone in. And on the other side of those rocks, I like to plant some flowers and mulch that out, enhance the walkway, make it look good, welcoming coming to our porch. And this area is the most heavy traffic because we cut through here going to the barn and the dogs run through here the cats the kids we all do and we scatter the mulch everywhere and once the mulch gets scattered then it doesn't look appealing and it thins out and then the weeds start to grow and then you can't control the weeds also there's no defining line between the mulch and the grass so it just kind of looks kind of haphazard so this is the area which we're going to be testing out our product and so we're going to jump in and get started First thing I'm going to do is come in here and sweep out all the old mulch, clean up the entire area, make it look good so we have a fresh start, and go ahead and I'm going to throw the rocks that are on the other side back into the driveway. And oh yeah, if I'm at pet level, they think I'm fair game for anything and Beats here likes to supervise every project that I do as long as I'm giving him the proper attention that he needs. All is well in his world. Next, I'm going to get in here and just break up the soil and even it all out and really get to work on these weeds and pull all the weeds out too because we don't want them interfering with our mulch once we put it down. And if you don't use a cultivator when you pull weeds, you are really missing out. This little tool makes pulling weeds so wonderful. What it does is it gets down there in that dirt and it loosens all the roots around the soil. So pulling weeds is just, just like butter. It's so easy and I will totally link this one down below in the description box because I love it. 
It's tines are so heavy and it just gets through any kind of soil, even in the rocky areas, it really breaks up that soil. This is my favorite and I will definitely link it down below for you. finished guys all it's cleaned up and all those weeds have been extracted and pulled out and my soil's roughed up so now I'm going to go ahead and cut my easy flex edging now I have already measured and I know how much I need and it did cut really easy so that's a plus thumbs up for that it cut really easy and I'm just laying it out and go ahead and putting my pegs in and yeah that's real simple too just kind of feeling where I want my bends and putting my pegs in. Super easy. Love it so far. How easy was that? guys look at that it looks sharp it's not really tall and so um oh yeah how would i get through any project without more pet love so i really like how easy this product went down and now i can move on to planting my flowers and seeing how this is going to hold with our mulch I am being super careful here with putting down the mulch just because you know, to give the product a fair test, I don't want to scatter mulch everywhere. So I want to be really careful about controlling where the mulch is going in the first place, getting it in there. So I am being very careful and not just dumping the mulch in, I'm being very careful with spreading it by the handfuls. I thought that would be fair. Well finished with the project guys. Well this side of the project. I'm rapidly losing daylight. It's about 8.30 in the evening and the sun is going down. So I only got one side done but I am very happy with this product. My only disappointment is that it only came with six pins but look at the difference in the sides. So if you're going to order this product make sure you order extra pins and they recommend every four foot but if you're curving I think you need a few more. I love it. I love how it turned out. I will definitely be using this product more often and thank you so much for watching and following along. Please like and subscribe. It does so much for the channel guys. I appreciate everyone your views for coming along. Everyone be blessed and be safe and I'll see you soon.